It's Thanksgiving. To be honest, perfectly honest, it's easy to think of things that I'm not thankful for this year. I'm not thankful for not being with all of my family. I'm not thankful for not enough resources to cope with the challenges that I'm currently facing. And I'm surely not thankful for the super difficult issues our world is facing. And even as I say these things out loud, I feel incredibly bratty and ungrateful. I'm not cooperating with the gist of God's nudge in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, where Paul writes, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. But stop a second here with me, will you? If you haven't punched me off about me being so honest about my ungratefulness, okay? In this verse written to early Christians, God isn't directing us to be thankful for things that we don't want in our lives. Thanksgiving isn't about being happy about what is clearly not happy around us. Rather, in writing to a group of believers struggling under persecution, tempted to behave immorally, and needing a few nudges as to how to get along with each other, Paul instructs them to be thankful in all things. Because when we learn to be thankful in all circumstances, we demonstrate trust in the God who is above all situations and works in them for His purposes and for our good. In the incomplete celebration, where not everyone in your family shows up, at least still there are some gathering. In the opportunity to be a guest rather than a host of a gathering, we can remember that at least we were invited somewhere. In the emotional, mental, or financial poverty of not having enough of something in a season, we can deeply experience our need for God's help. In the tension and strife of our current world, we can pray. We can be thankful in all things, trusting our good God to be with us in them. And therefore, somehow, we can be more content than we might have imagined. Take a moment and tick off several things you're not really thankful for this Thanksgiving. And then, going back to each, consider just for a minute how you might follow God's directive to be thankful in that specific circumstance. Hmm? Happy Thanksgiving.